another dimension of uh, Russia's current sense of, of dominance here is its continued uh, nuclear saber rattling. The most recent example was last uh, weekend, former President Dmitry Medvedev made some comments that were, um, to me, just stunningly irresponsible. I wanna just read you a brief uh, uh, excerpt. He said, attempts to return Russia to the borders of 1991, which means uh, to someday um, get those four uh, provinces of Ukraine back in Ukraine's hands, uh, will lead to only one thing, that the global war with Western countries using all the strategical, strategic arsenal of our state against Kiev, Berlin, London, Washington, against all other beautiful historical places that have long ago been included in the flight targets of our nuclear triad. So that kind of, of, of nuclear uh, rhetoric has been a feature of this conflict. I want to ask you uh, how you respond to it uh, yourself. There are some people who think these Russian efforts really have taken us to a more dangerous place than we've been in since the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis, where they speak directly about the use of tactical and, in this case, strategic nuclear weapons. Um, and, and how do you think more broadly about the, the question of uh, uh, deterrence in this era where the people being deterred seem to be us, while the Russians make ever greater threats about their willingness to risk nuclear war? Well, I think, first of all, Dmitry Medvedev has kind of gone off the deep end in recent years. Uh, uh, once Putin told him his time as president was up and it was time for him to recede, uh, he his rhetoric has has been far more um, outlandish, uh, I might say, than uh, than Putin's or anybody else's, uh, for that matter, at, in an official position in Russia. So I I pretty pretty much discount what Medvedev has to say. And you know there was there was I think legitimate concern at the very beginning uh, of the war about the potential use of of Russian use of tactical nuclear weapons. Uh, my view is that particularly after the first few months that that concern has been considerably exaggerated. Uh, first of all, uh, tactical nuclear weapons are tactical. They don't change the strategic environment. So the use of two or three nuclear weapons, uh, tactical nuclear weapons on the Ukrainian front may have some impact in the immediate vicinity they don't change the overall strategic outlook. Uh, second, uh, the consequences of crossing the nuclear threshold are enormous, and it will bring countries that are sort of in the middle right now, like India, off the sidelines. Uh, and, and then you have Xi Jinping twice publicly warning Putin not to use nuclear weapons in Ukraine or with respect to Ukraine. There's a final sort of realistic factor, and that is that, uh, you know, in that part of the world, uh, well, in that area, the winds blow from west to east. Setting off tactical nuclear weapons is going to end up with Russia getting most of the radioactive fallout. So, you know, just logically speaking, uh, I, think, I think that in, in terms of where we are in Ukraine now, uh, that that that's an exaggerated uh, that's an exaggerated threat, and frankly, I think it's as you said, suggested. The result has been we've ended up being deterred rather than the Russians. 